Hey everyone, this is May Yu. Welcome to Fun Friday. Every Friday, I try to do something new, fun, or challenging. Many of you have been waiting for Volume 2 of my pop culture reimagined coloring book. It is out now on my May Yu bookstore on Amazon. And if you have the first book, you should definitely get the second one. More info's coming up. All right, many of you have been wanting part two of my Draw Princess as Superheroes reimagining series. So I am going to turn some more Disney princesses as superheroes and I'm super excited to do this. I have been wanting to do part two for a long time and now I'm very happy I'm able to share with you these new character reimaginings. In case you're new to my channel or if you want to get refreshed on what I've done in part one of this series, you can check out this video on my Mayu channel. One of the things I was really mindful of when I was doing this art challenge was how was I going to balance the elements of each princess's like dress and outfit design and incorporate elements of those into my new superhero outfits because obviously I you know I was thinking usually superheroes are not going to be wearing big poofy dresses when they're in the middle of fights so I was thinking uh, if I change the outfit I didn't want to change it too much so that it doesn't it doesn't remind me of the original like dress or you know just what the princess usually wears which I'm so familiar with. So in terms of how to like how is I going to balance the different features of her outfit and put it into my reimagining that was something I had to think about and uh, balance carefully and I like how in like with Belle I, I had the collar of her outfit resemble the open shoulder look in terms of like she has this round jewel in the middle and then she has these two pieces going up by her neck so it kind of angled them upwards a little bit more and then i think for the cape when i get to the cape i think it's going to be really interesting because i i loved how i balanced the different elements to make this cape really look like this belongs to Belle if she were a superhero So Belle is known for her gorgeous, long, trailing, like big, beautiful ballroom gown with uh, these sections in them. And I was thinking if I could incorporate some of those like uh, stylish elements into the cape design, that's going to really tie in the original like feeling of the character with my superhero design. I like how I added so many different sections and pieces to the cape. It makes this cape design look a lot fancier. One of the really fun things about this art challenge was the fact that I really wanted to incorporate part of the story or part of the character of the Disney princess uh, or her background into my new superhero designs. And as for Belle, I wanted to somehow capture the essence of the rose um, and the symbolism of that. So, you know, of course, the rose is really important in the story. And I was thinking how, like, if Belle was a superhero, like, how would she, like, what would her powers be? How would she use different things? Maybe she could have the rose as some kind of um, item or uh, element to her power. So it was a lot of fun to think about these things. I felt like my imagination was free to just run wild and roam. And that was one of the best fun things about this. I also liked how I turned her gloves into these like metallic looking superhero gloves. And as for my color choices, I was thinking about, you know, usually superhero outfits, their colors and their contrasts tend to be really dramatic. Like you tend not to see too many superheroes with lighter or like soft um, contrast between the colors and you know just overall their look looks a little bit more intense and so I was thinking about the yellows of my bell design and I didn't want to have the soft looking palette I wanted to go more deeply into like some of the 
deeper shadows. So I was thinking, well, what can I use to make yellow look really intense and more like golden? So I was choosing different like light oranges and some darker browns just to really make the different parts of her outfit look more metallic or just more dramatic overall. If you're a fan of Belle or Beauty and the Beast in general, you can check out some of my other art challenges I did before with different characters from that movie, and I turned them into various different things. I hope you enjoy. Looks like superhero Belle is very confident in her, let's say, superpowers and her use of the rose. And I don't really know exactly how her powers might work, but I do know the rose is going to do something to her enemies that they will regret. But let me know in the comments if you have any fan theories or fun ideas about, you know, how her powers might work or what the rose would do to someone who Belle does not like very much. Okay, it's time for Merida to become a superhero. So I have not drawn Merida in quite some time in any of my art challenges or reimaginings, so I'm really glad I'm able to draw her again. I had a lot of fun coming up with my superhero design for her because of her hair. Like, I love all of those giant, bouncy, luscious curls. So I was thinking about how am I going to design my superhero character that incorporates her nice hairstyle, but I also wanted to draw in a way that is not like, um, that's a li just a little different. And I was thinking about what if she was kind of like most superheroes, they could fly or, you know, maybe she's hovering in the air and her hair is not, um, like, her hair could be floating up and that kind of creates this really dramatic uh, dynamic pose and I think you know visually that's quite stunning and I felt you know you know let's do this let's make her like all those curls just kind of float up above her head and I just you know when I was doing the concept sketches for this I was so excited because of all these beautiful curls and I just could not wait to draw them and ink them in my final drawing. One of the biggest things I knew right away when I was doing the concept sketches for this design was uh, I really needed to have her bow and arrow in there. It's very, very important for this design. However, I did not want to simply just, you know, put Merida in like superhero clothes and then give her a bow and arrow because I just felt like there's nothing wrong for that kind of like direction. There are superheroes who do have bows and arrows, but I just felt for my uh, art challenge, I wanted to go a little further and I wanted to do something that's a little bit more, I guess like not, like just a little bit more unusual or just not so predictable. So I didn't want to give her just like a bow and arrow in her hand and she just shoots her enemies with them. I wanted to have a little more of a fantasy element in how she uh uses her powers and i was just thinking at first like how am i gonna do that hmm As my mind was chewing on this question, I came up with the idea of what if, like, she didn't really have a bow, but instead she, you know, obviously she would have arrows and quivers, and maybe instead of one quiver, she'll have two, so she'll have double the amount of arrows, and then it's like strapped uh, behind her, and then the front can make like an X, which is kind of like a nice superhero element. Uh, and then for her, the actual arrows themselves, she could have these levitate powers, with them and she could control the direction or like the movement of the arrows with just her hands. And then I came up with this idea where she has these, like her hands are up and they're face, the fingers are facing the arrows and the arrows are just like waiting for her command. So I thought that was a very interesting take on like, uh, you know, Merida and her bow and arrow, but in a, in like a cool fantasy superhero kind of way.
Thank you to all of you so much for your comments, likes, and your wonderful creative name ideas from my previous video. I loved reading all of your comments and especially your very interesting, funny name combination ideas for the characters I reimagined. I love them all. I love this pose where she has one leg down and one leg up. It's such a nice dynamic pose and it really gives me the feeling that she's floating or hovering in the air. If you want to learn how to draw from me, you can check out my Mayu bookstore on Amazon. I hope my how to draw books will be helpful. What do you think a typical day in the life of Merida, the superhero, would be like? Like, what would she be doing? Who would she be fighting? Or who would she be trying to protect with her powers? Let me know your fun fan ideas and theories in the comments. I love reading them. Alrighty, the last princess to be turned into a superhero in this video is going to be Ariel, the Little Mermaid. And I have a very special idea for this particular character design. So right away I was thinking about the fact that Ariel could turn from a mermaid to a human. And I was thinking I should incorporate something of uh, like the sea or the ocean or water in my superhero design somehow. And I was thinking maybe I don't want to make her into a mermaid. I want to make her into like, you know, like a superhero with legs, like a, you know, like a human looking superhero. Um, but I will incorporate elements of the ocean in here somehow. Maybe that could be her superpower. Or maybe she could turn herself from, you know, a human or a mermaid to other forms of the ocean. I'm not sure. But I, you know, that was kind of like the line of thought that I had in the beginning. And I just kind of went with that and I developed on that throughout this drawing. I also wanted to make her superhero outfit look more structured and I wanted to have different pieces and different like areas of the the outfit look like it could actually like protect some of her like parts of her body and then for her like her shell bra uh, from the original I kind of like turned the shells so they're kind of standing upright so that's like the front of her outfit and then as for her like her gloves I had some fun with them I thought it would be really cool to have these like uh, spines or fish fin type of like elements on these on the gloves to make her look a little bit more you know tougher or cooler And as for the lower body design, I really like how I made the boots texture similar to the texture of her top. I felt that was a great way to have some cohesiveness in my design. Okay, so I have the main part of my design all done. I have uh, Ariel as a superhero. She's looking pretty cool, but I think there's a big thing missing and that is the water element or like her power over the oceans. So I was thinking about what if she could kind of like appear and reappear or disappear in water and she can control water in such a way so that it's going to you know it's going to make the bad guys fear her a lot um so i was thinking about in terms of the design how would she kind of appear out of the water i wanted the water to look really graceful and really like elegant and magical at the same time so then i designed like um like kind of like a water funnel that kind of appears around her legs I thought my superhero design of her was really striking and I love the pose and the energy of it so much that I made it the cover of volume 2 of my pop culture reimagined adult coloring book. Since many of you have volume 1 of pop culture reimagined and some have been asking for more in this series, I'm super happy that volume 2 is out now on my Mayu bookstore on Amazon. Just like volume 1, volume 2 features 50 of my reimagined artwork. So you get to color and customize designs from some of my popular art challenges which have been viewed by millions. 
including some challenges in the past, as well as newer videos I released this year. There's a great mix of fan favorites like all of the princess superheroes in this video, as well as in part one, villains as mermaids, my hero and villain role swaps, princesses as modern girls, famous couples gender swaps, character combinations, and more famous characters as princesses. Volume 2 comes in three different sizes and formats, the regular size, the large soft cover, and the large hard cover. The regular size is great for those who like smaller pictures to color, while the large soft cover gives you more space for your creativity, and the large hard cover will give your coloring pages that nice, sturdy, added protection of the hard cover. Pop Culture Reimagined 2 is great for casual colorists, aspiring artists, and fans of anime, movies, cartoons, and games. Like my other coloring books, this one goes great with most markers, colored pencils, gel pens, and crayons. If you're a fan of my art or various pop culture fandoms, I'm sure you'll love coloring in this book. Thanks to all of you who shared your creations in the Amazon reviews and on Instagram with the hashtag MayYouArt. You're helping spread the love of art and coloring to others. The direct link to own your copy of Pop Culture Reimagined 2 is in the video description. Get this for relaxing weekends, a creative break between work or classes, for fun during the holidays, bonding time with friends and family, or as gifts for any occasion. You're not only getting a wonderful coloring book, you're owning your own creative adventure, which could inspire you and relax you at the same time. I hope you enjoy and happy coloring everyone! As I was layering on the different colors and the shading, it just became more and more real to me. Like, I love the shine of her skirt and the boots and of course those beautiful waves. Let me know in the comments which princess superhero do you want to be the most? Like, whose power do you want personally? And let me know your name ideas and fan theories in the comments. I love reading your clever ideas. Also, hit that like button if you want to see part three. And let me know what other characters do you want to see me reimagine as superheroes. Also, subscribe in case you haven't yet and turn on the bell notification so you won't miss my future videos. Thanks for watching everyone! I've made a special playlist just for you where you can binge watch my other art challenges. The link is in the video description. Hit that and I will see you in a few moments. There are now over 70 books on the Mayu Bookstore on Amazon, all in one convenient place. The link is in the video description. See you next week! I've got another Fun Friday video. Till next time!